Welcome back to Hollywood Dream Maker Podcast. I'm your host, Billy Gallo. And today I am doing a solo podcast because I just wanted to jump on and really just thank all the listeners out there. You know, today I'm recording my 47th episode and it's been pretty amazing. Um, I'm just grateful to the listeners all over the world. This podcast is global. Uh, you know, I just found out that I'm at the top 2% of all podcasts. So it's you listeners out there that uh, have made that happen. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I just wanted to check in with you guys. You know, today is um, February 1st. So I'm recording this podcast. So this will air on February 8th or whenever you're listening to this podcast. You know, it's a new year, 2022, and I'm just checking in. You know, how are those New Year's resolutions going? You know, I'm not a big fan, a believer in New Year's resolutions, but I am a big fan of creating a, a list of goals that you want to achieve, dreams, and making a list of actions that you can take to make those dreams a reality. And I know it's been tough for everyone with COVID and, you know, the past couple of years have been, it's been rough. But, you know, you can't let that stop you. You have to stay true to your vision. If this is in you and it's your passion and you want to be an actor, then you have to go after it like you mean it. And, you know, you will get knocked down. When you get knocked down, I want you to dust yourself off. I want you to get back up and I want you to, you know, get back on path, get back on the tracks. You know, there's so much that you can do on a daily basis to make your dream a reality. So I'm going to give you a couple of my secrets that I do. And, you know, I've been blessed. I mean, I've, I've, I've achieved the dream, everything I've ever wanted in my life. I mean, I've envisioned it first. You know, this studio that I'm sitting in right now was once a vision board. I literally cut out theater seats and I uh, Googled black box theater and took an image of that. And, uh, Hollywood old school makeup mirror and uh, producers lounge and I took all these images and I cut them together and I put them on a vision board and now I for the past seven years have been living in my vision I created this in my brain first you know when I wanted to be an actor I knew I wanted to be an actor I knew this was my path I just felt it in me I was 16 I was sitting on my mother's couch. I was staring at a television show called The Fall Guy with Lee Majors. I grew up watching him on The Six Million Dollar Man. For a lot of you, if you're young, you don't know who that is, Google it. It was a very popular show back in the day. The Fall Guy was all about Hollywood and stuntmen and behind the scenes. And I'd sit and I'd watch that show and I'd visualize myself doing that. And I said to myself, I'm going to do that. And, you know, everybody told my dream to, they laughed at me and, you know, told me it couldn't be done. And, but I didn't let any of that get in my way. I believe that I can do that. And at 18, when I came out to Hollywood with 200 bucks in my pocket, no one way ticket, didn't a soul out here, you know, and I got my first agent and um, my first audition was for the fall guy, a guest starring role. And I went into that room and I booked that part and I got my SAG card and it paid me money to stay out here in California and pursue my career. And the rest is history. I mean, that was the start of my career. But, you know, the, the, the lesson here is, is I visualize myself doing that. I said to myself, I am going to be on that show. I'm going to be on TV. It's like I climbed into my television set and, and it, the dream had become a reality. Now, you know, you can have the dream, but you got to take massive action. I mean, I took massive action. I, what did I, one, I, I bought a one-way ticket to Hollywood. There was no return trip back, no money to buy a ticket back. So failure was not an option. There was no way I was not going to be a successful actor. In my mind, I had no doubt that I would be able to do it. So you want to stay true to the vision, okay? You want to take the island, burn the boat. I didn't have a boat back. There was no boat back, okay? 
I'm not a big fan of plan B's. Uh, you know, I think sometimes plan B's become plan A. So if your vision is truly to be uh, an actor, then listen, you, you, you want to have a job to support yourself. You want to find something that you're passionate about, but you don't want to become a full-time waiter or a full-time bartender. You know, if your your vision is to be an actor, a working actor in Hollywood, then you have to keep that vision alive. Stay true to that. You know, I want you to see it on a daily basis. You know, everything I've ever wanted in my life, I you know, has come to fruition because I held it and I believed that I could achieve it and I went after it. And I made it happen. And I didn't let the tyranny of how am I going to do that get in the way. You know, when I wanted to produce a movie in New York City and, and it was a dream of mine to live in Soho, and, you know, there was all this stuff that would had to had to happen in order for me to make make this film, especially the, the two and a half million dollars. But, you know, I kept the vision alive and, and the money came to make that film. You know, when I wanted to create the studio, it came at the worst time in my life when I was going through some really, really tough stuff, you know, dealing with cancer. You know, I lost my 11-year-old niece to brain cancer. You know, I lost my stepfather to prostate cancer. My, my, my wife and I had a miscarriage. My dog, you know, got run over by a car and died. I, I had torn my rotator cuff and I was, I couldn't work. I was, you know, I was unemployed. It was, you know, but then I got a calling and it said, you know, build this acting studio and it was my intuition talking you know and i listened so you want to listen to that little voice not the voice in your head the voice in your head is noise the voice in your head is going to say oh how am i going to do that you know fear fear and you, you start thinking like that and, you know nothing's going to happen but if you get out of your head and get into your heart and you listen to your heart what is your heart telling you if this is in you it's in you it's a gift you know not everybody gets it the gift of acting. Some people can sing, some people can dance, some people can paint. You know, if you ha have this gift, then it's your obligation to take that gift and shine that light all over the place. You know, just shine it, make a difference in people's lives, make them laugh, make them cry, touch people's lives with that talent that was given to you. Don't waste that talent. Okay, so I want you to start with a morning routine. Okay, you know, uh, gratitude is number one. Being grateful for what you have now. Okay, you really want to watch your thoughts. You know, if you if you say, "Oh, I can't afford to do that," or "I can't," you know, you just change the channel, the vibration, the universal vibration to "I can't afford." What if you say, "I can"? I'm living in abundance. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am all. You know, I am. Anything after "I am" is very powerful. Oh, I am tired. Well, you know what? What if I am energized? So what if you change your conversation? You know, what if you started saying to yourself, why is it so easy for me to get an agent? Why is it so easy for me to book that commercial? Why is it so easy for me to meet that my perfect person in my life? Why is it so easy for me to be in great shape? You know, it's, it's changing your story. Change your story. Change your life. Okay. I'm going to give you a perfect example of uh, manifestation. You know, I was in a, in a pretty dark place in 1990, uh, let's see, 97. And um, I was battling depression. And I, I just kind of just wanted to crawl under my covers and put my pillow over my head, you know. And uh, my friend said, hey, come on, we're going out. He wanted to get me out of the house. And I was like, no, I don't want to go anywhere. And um, the little voice in me said, you know what? Get up, step up, get up. So I did. I got up, I got dressed, you know, I slicked back my hair and I put on my leather jacket and on the road driving to this club, this century club, I said to my friend, I said, Tonight, I'm going to meet a hot Latina. And I said, that's what I said I was going to do. And when I walked into that club, there was a hot Latina standing at the bar. And she was ordering a drink. And I came over and introduced myself. And um, the rest is history. That's my wife, my beautiful wife. 
I have a beautiful son. I have a beautiful life. But I manifested her. I said, tonight I am going to meet a hot Latina. And that's exactly what I did. I met a hot Latina. So, you know, your, your words are very powerful. So choose them well. Guard the geats of your mind. Don't let those little negative thoughts pop in. You know, guard, truly guard the gates. Stay true to your vision. You know, pull the weeds, get rid of some of those limiting beliefs, some of those old stories. You know, maybe you need to let go of some shit. You know, maybe you grab you carrying around some stuff from your childhood, some trauma, some stuff that needs to be let go. You know, you just got to forgive people. You got to move on. You know, that stuff, you hold on to that stuff, that's dream killers. So free yourself up, forgive, forget, move on. You can't drive your car looking in the rearview mirror. You're going to crash. You got to be present and you got to be grateful. So I want you to start your day every morning with gratitude. You know, before you get out of bed, I want you to think of all those beautiful things you're grateful for, your health, love, whatever it is that you're grateful for. I want you to take time and really fill your heart with gratitude. You know, here, every year with my actors, I, I ask them, uh, we create vision boards. You know, creating a vision board is a powerful tool because you have this, it's like going, um, getting a catalog of everything you want to order from the universe. Well, order it up, cut it out. You know, if this is the car I want to drive, cut it out, boom, put it on a vision board. This is where I want to live, cut it out, put it on a vision board. I want an Oscar put it on a vision board. I want to be in a movie with Al Pacino, put it on a vision board. I want six pack abs, whatever it is you want, perfect body, cut, the, cut out that image, put it on a vision board and see it on a daily basis. Every time I have my vision board, it's in my closet. When I open my door, every time I you know, open my door, I see it. I take a moment to look at that beautiful stuff. I mean, I can't tell you how many times in my life that stuff that I put on my vision board came to fruition. You know, and there was a couple of years back, me and my actors were all cutting, cutting vision boards. And, uh, you know, there was a travel magazine. I got the last image. It was like a gondola. Cut it out, put it on my vision board. And, you know, 10 months later, the year was almost over. And my sister-in-law said, hey, we're going to Rome. Um, we got a, you know, Airbnb and there's an extra room. If you guys want to come, you know, come on, you just have to have to buy the plane ticket. So we did. And the next thing you know, I'm in Venice and I took a picture in Venice and it's the same exact picture on my vision board. When I was living in Hollywood, I cut out a picture of a beach house before we even moved to the beach. And that was the dream. I wanted to move to the beach. When I was living in the beach, in my beach house, with the view and everything that I had envisioned, I found in the garage my old vision board, and I dusted it off, and I, and I, I, I went upstairs, and I told my wife, you're not going to believe this. Look at this picture. And it was the, the exact place that I had put on my vision board in Hollywood is where I was living. I had the, 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 the view, the, the wood, I mean, the, the ceilings, the, everything was the same. That is the power of having a vision. So I want you to create a vision board. Write it down. Write down your goals. You know, keep a journal, a gratitude journal. Write down your goals. This is my goals. This is what, this is what my dream is. This is how am I going to get there? You know, if you want to get to, uh, you know, Hollywood from New York City and you're driving, well, you need a map. Or otherwise, you're going to get lost. So you want to have that map for yourself. Okay, this is what I want. I want an agent. Okay, well, what are my action steps? What am I going to do to get an agent? Okay, well, I need to get headshots. Okay, well, then schedule headshots, get those headshots done. I need to create a demo reel. Well, great. Find out what your cast ability is. start, you know, the phones today, the technology, I, I, my new phone, you know, it's better than my, my high end camera, my new iPhone 13. This is not a commercial for iPhone 13, but it's got a pretty good camera. You know, you can, it doesn't matter if it's an iPhone 10 or 11, whatever, you know, they have great cameras, you can film yourself. You can frame yourself right, light yourself right. You can go on YouTube. I mean, the coolest thing is you got YouTube, you know, there's everything you want is right there. You just Google it. Oh, how do I light? How do I frame? You know, how do, what's the best sound? You know, it's all there for you. There's no excuses. All you have to do is figure out, this is what I want. 
write it down because when you write it, you invite it into you. And then take and write it a list, an action list. This is what I'm going to do and start scratching them off. Done, check, done, check, done, check every day. And then I want you to praise yourself, you know, pat yourself on the back and go, hey, good job. I, I got my pictures. I did that. You know, you want to praise yourself. You want to give yourself, uh, you know, that love. You know, love is the, the highest vibration there is. You want to be in love. You want to love yourself most importantly. You know, when you wake up and you look in the mirror, you know, you got to watch your self-talk. You know, what are you saying to yourself? Are you saying to yourself, you're awesome, I love you? Or are you saying, oh, you look like shit right now. Look at you. Oh, you got to lose some weight. Or, you know, that, that's, the, that's that negative stuff that you have to cut out. Those are the weeds that I want you to pull. Because those weeds suck the life out of your dream. So you really have to be really careful on, you know, the, the images that you're putting into your head and the words that you're speaking. You know, anything after I am is very powerful. You know, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am loved, whatever it is that you want, I want you to create uh, an incantation, you know, not an affirmation, an incantation, something that you put in yourself, you know, every day, and you say it like when you're working out when you're running, you know, I, I've been taking my goal for 2022 was to walk on the beach you know, every day. And, I, you know, I pretty much walked on the beach every day. I mean, I, I missed a couple of days. But, you know, today I walked for, you know, six miles on the beach. And it's just a beautiful way to start your day in gratitude and being in nature and, and just visualizing all that beautiful stuff that you want to achieve. You know, as I walk down the beach, I looked at these beautiful homes on the Strand and I envision myself living them. You know, I gave my Oscar speech walking down the, you know, the beach. You want to put yourself in that place, whatever it is that you want, you want to envision it. And you, as an actor, we, we have, you know, this ability to use our imagination. So, you know, go for the virtual tour. You know, if you want to drive that car, well, get in the car, feel that, you know, what kind of car is it? Smell the leather, feel the, you know, look, you know, go walk into your beautiful dream home and take a tour, you know, look at your, you know, theater room or whatever it is, your basketball court that you want in your, whatever it is that you want, go into your beautiful refrigerator and take out a, a bottle of water and, and drink it and, you know, walk out and look at your beautiful view. You know, you want to visualize it. Yeah, you want to write it down, write it down, write about your dreams, you know, details, write, the, write all the details, because when you write it, you truly invite it into you. As long as you keep that vision alive and you believe it, you can achieve it. If you believe it, you can receive it, but you really, truly got to believe it and don't let any body naysayers get in the way because there will be dream killers around you. And if you have dream killers around you and surrounding you, telling you, oh, you can't do that, you know how hard that is, you have to really surround yourself with people that believe are on the same path. You know, you want to find your tribe. You know, you're here at the Manhattan Actors Studio, all my actors are on the same path. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing when I see them all together. And, you know, they're all inspired and they're all, you know, helping each other. They all have the same vision. So you want people around you that believe in you. And listen, nobody believes in me. I believed in me. So the, the most important thing is, is you have to believe in you. Okay. I remember when I went to my acting teacher in high school and I told him I want to be a professional actor. He told me to forget about it, kid. That was his advice to me. Forget about it, kid. Well, you know what? I didn't forget about it. And he got to watch me on TV every Saturday and, and you know, see me on the big screen. So don't listen to the naysayers. Be careful who you surround yourself with, too. You know, the, if you have negative people around you or, or places and things, those things have to, they, they have to go. You know, you really truly have to cut them out. Okay? You want to listen to your intuition. Okay? Listen to your heart. That is the most important thing. Stay out of your head. Take some time to meditate, you know, to get out of your head and get into your heart and to breathe and just sit in stillness and visualize what you want. 
really visualize it, see it, believe it, and then go after it with a vengeance. It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to say, you know what? It is going to be easy. See what I just corrected myself. If, if I say it's not going to be easy, it's not going to be easy. If I say it is going to be easy, it is easy. So say to yourself, it is easy. Why is it so easy for me to do this? Okay, so watch your language. I have to catch myself all the time because I have little Billy, the little voice in my head, the, the little damaged little boy that wants to creep in and, you know, tell me fear or doubt or lack or, you know, and that's not the voice I want to listen to. I want to listen to the inner voice, the, the powerful me, the confident me, the gladiator, the warrior, the, the fearless, the, that's the person that you want to listen to. And you want to create that person. You want to train that person on a daily basis. You know, I love that I have one of my students, um, you know, we're talking about vision boards and, and she laminated her vision board and, and she stuck it in her shower. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I talked about my morning routine. You know, every morning I, I go through my gratitude list and then, you know, I turn on the shower and I turn the water, just cold water and I take an ice cold shower. And I say my incantation, you know, who I am. And, you know, before I get in that shower, there's that little voice that says, no, we're not going in there. But then the big boy, the beast, the gladiator steps up and gets in that and, and takes that cold shower and says who I am. I know who I am. I know what I am. I know, I know how I serve, you know, and that's what I'm doing. I'm serving. This is what this podcast is all about. This is not something that I'm doing to make money. This, this, is not, this costs me money to create the podcast for you, but it's a being of service. And th that's the secret to living is, is giving and being of service and how you can add value to somebody else's life. So, you know, spread love, be love. You are love. And love is the highest vibration there is. And if you can change your channel to love, all your dreams will come true if you just keep the vision alive and believe it and go after it like you friggin' mean it. I believe in you. Don't let anybody tell you it can't be done. I'm living proof that it can. It can be done. If I can do it, you can do it. So go after your dreams with a vengeance. I'm really excited. There's some great guests coming your way. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for listening to this podcast. You know, please share, rate, review. It helps, you know, to get this podcast out there. Share with your friends. You know, this is not just an, uh, a, a podcast about acting. It's about, you know, anybody, whatever your dream is. You know, if you apply these tools, and I'm telling you right now, you can make, you can manifest, you can have anything you want in your life but you just truly got to believe it and then go after it like you friggin' mean it. All right. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>